one thing that I would say is initially when I started creating content, I was too focused on thinking what would people probably want to read and understand about. And it, for me at least, it was a major mistake because I was kind of forcing subjects out. And in time, I learned that I'm a user myself, I'm operational myself. The things that I need to know, I want to know are probably things that a lot of people will relate to. So I kind of shifted my strategy, but I, I think I fell into the trap that a lot of people creating content or doing marketing, at least in the beginning, are doing. They are so focused on getting likes or getting followers and getting some sort of interactions that this becomes the sole focus and not the quality of the message that you're putting out there. Yeah, I'd agree. I think there's a, there's a real danger that it's what I call chasing the engagements um, and people create content. They, stick, they create something and it gets a few likes and comments and we use that as a success metric and do more of that same. And it's, it's natural, right? It's an endorphin rush. We've, we've created something that other people approve of. So let's create more of that. And I guess the thing that I'd, as a, as a, as a creator myself, one of the things I'd, I'd challenge people to think when they, when they're creating things is who are the people that are liking and engaging with my stuff? Are they champions, which is, you know, that's fine. Like that's, that's not, you know, they're the people who are going to shout about you to their network, but not necessarily be a customer themselves. Or are you getting likes and engagements from people who are likely to be future clients, which is far more important, um, in terms of what we're creating. And often, like, I, I don't know whether you've had this yet or not, but I often get people drop in my inbox who've never, ever engaged with me once in three, four years. And all of a sudden they're like, oh, Paul, I've been following you for six months. I've seen loads of your content. That for me is, is I have to try and remember those moments where I'm going through the tough times when I want to chase the metrics. I have to remember those moments and, and think back to them and use that as validation for sticking with my strategy. Is that, is that kind of where you're at, I guess? I, I so much like and appreciate that you're uh, mentioning that because especially in the beginning when I was in that loop of uh, complaining to my husband, nobody likes my post. I don't know what's happening. It sounds very fun. It sounds very smart. It brings value. I actually started getting messages and potential leads for people that not a single time has reacted or commented, commented under my post. And then I realized that comments and likes are okay metric, you know, for the algorithm to boost your um, post or content out there, but the leads and the quality of leads is not directly correlated to the amount of reactions you're getting. So yep. definitely happened to me and I can definitely mention that I know myself, I have liked some of your posts, but I was the one that was stopping you for quite some time before I decided yes, to true. become a client myself. True. Yep. And, and still seeing more coming through now. I think, you know, one, one of the things I talk to people a lot about is LinkedIn is your main method of marketing. And people, well, this is the other thing is people don't see LinkedIn as a method of marketing. It's absolutely marketing. Yeah. Yes, it's a social media channel of sorts, but it is the place to grab B2B leads, inbound, outbound conversations, networks, all of it. So don't dismiss it as not being a marketing channel because it absolutely is. And I'd imagine we're going to see a lot of these conversations as we move forward through the podcast series. Um, how then have you gone about trying to make sure that the leads that you get in the, so in the industry, we'd call the market and qualified leads, right? They've come inbound, they've seen a few of your bits of content. They've, they've then dropped in your inbox to, to ask you some questions or something general. 